I hear those Georgia pines pining for me. You know I'm pining for you. When the dewy dawn comes around to say good morning, morning. Georgia pines, I hear you call, calling each night in my dreams. And you seem to say, come on back home and stay. This episode of Overworked History of Georgia is about the tomb of a known soldier. Charles W. Graves of Rome, Georgia was killed October 5, 1918, on the Hindenburg Line of World War I. He was buried near where he fell in France, but the body was exhumed for return to the United States in 1922. The tomb of an unknown soldier was erected at Arlington Cemetery in 1922, and honors the unknown dead from America's wars. At the same time the tomb of the unknown soldier was erected, there were plans for a tomb honoring America's known dead. Graves happened to be part of the last world of identified bodies brought back from World War I, and it was from this group of bodies that the new known soldier would be chosen. A blindfolded sailor ran his finger down a list of the names, and he happened to stop at Charles W. Graves. Charles Graves' mother wanted his body returned to Rome so she could be closer to him. The War Department agreed, but insisted on holding a parade in his honor on New York's Fifth Avenue. Following the parade, many officials, including President Hiding, spoke about the sacrifice Graves and others had made during the war. Graves' body was soon returned to Rome and laid to rest in Antioch Cemetery. Several years later, it was moved to a special garden of Myrtle Hill Cemetery, where the tomb of a known soldier stands today. After Charles Graves' body was returned to Georgia, Pines entered the tomb of a known soldier at Arlington. Thank you. Georgia, 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 the whole day through. Just an old sweet song keeps Georgia on my mind. Georgia on my mind. 